Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, to, oh my god, on my end, this fucking microphone is loud as fuck. Uh, welcome to some, uh, Pokemon Direct. Apparently they had one yesterday, and I didn't really have a chance to watch it. Not only that, but apparently Death Stranding had, like, a whole event a couple of, like, last week or something like that. I didn't watch that either, but, like, they announced release date and all that other shit, you know, so. I'm not sure if I wanna. I'm not sure if I'll record that later or not today, because I still haven't even seen, I don't know shit about Death Stranding. So, um, besides the release date. But, who cares about Kojima right now? We're here to watch Pokemon. And, uh... Yeah, I really don't have any, like, intro for this or nothing like that, so we're just gonna get into it, I guess. I mean, we've all been waiting to hear more, so let's hear more. Let me actually fix my headset so I can hear what the fuck Mr. Pokemon is saying. Welcome to Pokemon Direct. Hi, Pokemon I'm here, Company. watching Pokemon Direct. Today... I would like to provide the latest news about the Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield games. And Pokemon Gun! To begin, please take a look at this video. Alright! So apparently, last time I kept saying this was like Russia or something like that. Apparently it's Scotland. Well, apparently a Scotland might. Uh, they don't say mate in Scotland. Um, do they? Shit. Uh, I'm thinking of like Irish. Maybe, maybe in Ireland they say me. So, who else is choosing the fire type? I always choose fire type, unless it was Snivy, because Snivy was cool as shit. Oh! Pokemon don't look like shit now. That's great. I like that sheep Pokemon. How much you bet that sheep Pokemon is going to be strong as shit? It's going to be the new Marie. I really hope that. Oh shit, what? Kind of evil ass Pokemon that. Uh, do they still have Z moves? Z moves are kind of annoying. Oh fuck! Pokemon is just out in the wild. This is the best game ever. Is Tyranitar? It was an ice rock. Oh, it was my low tick. Oh my god, shaking berries. Oh my god, oh, beware's and shit. Oh, this game is great. Is it multiplayer? What the fuck is this? What am I looking at? There's raids. There's raids. There's raids in this. How does that work? What the fuck? I don't really play Pokemon Go that much. I really don't care about Pokemon Go. I play Pokemon Let's Go Eevee, video of that on my channel if you want to watch it, but it's whatever. What the fuck? Oh, come on. I'm not doing any of this shit. I'm not doing any of this raid shit. Like, I'm so tired of every new Pokemon game having some type of bullshit to it. That they'll never use in any other game whatsoever. Like, when's the last time you ever went mining in a Pokemon game? And there's a new sports thing. It's like soccer, but with Pokemon. Or is this the online shit? Oh, fuck. Oh, come on. This is gonna suck. This bothers me. I feel like I'm... I feel like I'm watching... Fucking... The shitty later series of Bakugan. Excuse me? Well, I guess Hello. they're gonna try and cater more to the Pokemon Go audience. Hi, I'm Omori from Game Freak. What did you think of the video? It was cool at the beginning until you showed all that raid shit. The latest news on Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield to all of you around the world, right here from Game Freak's offices, where development is underway. You can take on the role of the main character, who resides in the Gallery region. After choosing Grookey, Scorbunny, or Sobble as Score your first Bunny, that's that motherfucker's Pokemon, name. The only name I remember is fucking Squabble. 
Your journey will take you through vast Oh, there's like an old chat. Oh, wow. An old chateau. Like an old chateau together, like uh, Gen 4. Other locations filled with rich personality. Uh, it's a why not? Why Pokemon not? battles are the most popular form of entertainment in the Gala region. Stadiums As opposed to every other type of region where they battle Pokemon all the fucking time. Gym leaders and challengers. The excitement of these battles is often broadcast on television in the Gala region as well. Oh, so these are gym battles. The most exciting part of visiting a new region is, of course, encountering Pokemon that you've never seen before. I'm about to fucking <laughs> tell you more about some of the Pokemon oh, that reside fuck. in the Gala region. I'd like to hand it over to James, the art director. So what, they're going to do like Gala region hey, forms James. too? Or is like the whole Ola form thing's kind of dead now? Hello. I'm James Turner from Game Freak. I worked as the art director for these games. There are a lot of never before seen Pokemon that await you in the Gala region. But allow me to introduce you to just a few of them. Okay. The first Pokemon I'd like to show you is Wooloo. Wooloo? Pokemon's defining characteristic is its fluffy Oh my god, it's the, it's the woolly Pokemon. In a town in the Gala region who use it to craft popular special Reminds me of the woolies from fucking uh Room Factory. Gossifleur. The flowering Pokemon. Gossifleur favors places with clean air and water and its pollen is said to have healing properties. This next Pokemon is called Dreadnought, the bite Pokemon. The sharp the bite Pokemon, Dreadnought. Allow it to bite off Sounds a lot like Crawdon. And iron. Its vicious nature Not Crawdon, um, what the fuck am I talking about? For all I meant, uh, Croconaw. This Pokemon that can be seen flying steadily through the sky is called Corviknight. Well, yeah, put yeah. Motherfucker looks like a Dark Knight. As a flying taxi, which will take the player back to any town he or she has previously visited. As many of you already know, some Pokemon can evolve. Oh, there's another Pokemon behind him. And becoming stronger in the process. Like next to the flower one. Well, it's showing Gossifleur it off right now. Is one of these Pokemon. When Gossifleur evolves. It becomes Eldegoss. As you can see, there are now small seeds scattered across its fuzzy head. These seeds are said to promote growth in plants and can revitalize both people and Pokemon. That's all I can show you this time. There are lots more Pokemon living in the Gala region for you to discover. Of course, you can look forward to finding many Pokemon you're already. Hey, Growlithe! I hope you're as excited as I love Growlithe. I love Arcanine. Amazing variety Arcanine is such a good Pokemon. That inhabit the Gala region. Meeting lots of Pokemon is one of the thrills of the adventure. And where you will find the widest variety of Pokemon out of anywhere in the Gala region is in a place called the Wild Area. I thought he fucking said the this widest Pokemon. I was like confused as hell. And it's filled with abundant nature as far as the eye can see. Different Pokemon can appear depending on where you are and what the weather is like. Meaning there will be new discoveries for you each day. Some of you may already have noticed, but while adventuring through this area, you have control over the camera. Allowing you to better search for items and this Pokemon. is this is the search fucking Pokemon game that people want grass. just open the world have Pokemon above, just living out the there lakes, is great for you never know what you might find In certain locations in the Gala region a new phenomenon can be triggered that makes a Pokemon giant in size and gives it incredible strength This phenomenon is called Dynamaxing Dynamaxing opens that's new fucking stupid in battles performed by trainers and their Pokemon for more details, I would like to turn it over to Iwao. We the call this for the Dynamax. The evolutions. Like, you incorporated those. So where the fuck are they now? Hi, 
I'm Iwao from Game Freak and the planning director for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. Wait, don't forget about Mega Evos, because you put them in the game the and now the they're not there no more. Get rid of Z-moves. Nobody needs fucking Z-moves. Pokemon oh my from the God. Gala region can Dynamax to not only become massive in size, but also boost their power. Oh my fucking God. <laughs> this is gonna be so All stupid. Turn into powerful maximums. Don't tell me they're getting rid of fucking Mega Evos. Dynamaxing oh. can be used once per battle. However, the Pokemon will revert to normal after three turns. So, after three turns, to okay. Maximum so, it's the laziest way possible to Mega Evo a Pokemon without games. Mega Evoing a Pokemon. Alright. Remember that wild area we told you about? If you connect to other players, you'll find more ways to play there. If you connect with One other players, wait, player so are they just going to be running? So are other people just going to be running around too? Can join forces to challenge wild Dynamax Pokemon. Yeah, I know it's a fucking in raid. raid battle, <laughs> like the wild Dynamax I played MMOs before. For the entire battle. Not only that, it also yeah, has Weavile. special powers. Weavile is pretty cool. Extremely formidable opponent. Only Look at Flygon! I love Flygon! Flygon is such a good Pokemon. To to Fuck Salamance! It's all about Flygon. So coordinating with your team will be crucial when taking on these powerful wild Pokemon. If you and your allies yeah, I do not see victorious. any possible way that I'm going to get a group of Pokemon friends together and be like, Hey guys, we want to raid this fucking Pokemon and... and uh, Pokemon and Pokemon Sword and Shield? Like, I'm pretty sure if I say that, everyone's gonna be like, yo, Kick Rocks, what the fuck are you talking about? Among these different Pokemon are some that can only be caught after you defeat them in Max Quagsire. So we hope trainers will join forces and test their skills against a variety of Pokemon. Max Raid Battles features strategic, cooperative four-player gameplay against a single Pokemon, which is a first for the main series of Pokemon games. I mean, is it really? Because Sun and Moon had that fucking, like, Battle Royale type bullshit where, like, three people can just gang up on one person. You can also connect with other players over the internet to enjoy playing with other trainers from all around the globe. So I hope you'll try Max Raid Battles with all sorts of other players. Yeah, I do not see people uh going I don't see people going to do those Next, raids that I like much. I think you guys are kind of on your adventure. being a little crazy here. You should have just like this guy you know added more mega evos, get rid of fucking Z moves because they suck. His name and is focus on the actual challenge of the goddamn so game. Widely enjoyed, his undefeated record in official matches is all the more incredible. His popularity is only enhanced by his shining personality. Winning him the adoration of trainers. His shining personality and his it's fucking no stupid beard that goes into like fucking fangs or some shit. I don't. It looks weird. The champion has a younger brother who also happens to be one of your rivals. His name is Hop. Hop. Hop? What the fuck? Just like his elder brother. I, yo, I really hope he's not a friendly rival. I'm goal. so tired of. His journey like, through the Gala region begins oh my on God. the same day as yours. Oh my God. <laughs> I don't want to repeat on a fucking journey, how and the other the motherfucker from uh, Pokemon Let's Go. Like, Professor those characters Magnolia, were way too Professor fucking friendly. Gallery, like, I hated them. I hated them so the much. Sonia is her granddaughter and also serves as her assistant. Oh, hey, Sonia. What's up, girl? Wisdom and sound advice will surely hey, Sonia. What's up? What's up? Mm. What's up? How you do? How do you? What it do, girl? Next, I would like to talk about the Pokemon gyms in the Gala region. You and your rival will need to take on the Pokemon gyms throughout the region in order to achieve your goal of becoming champion. These gym stadiums are constructed in very special locations that allow for Pokemon to be dynamaxed. Okay. So one thing that I'm thinking of right now, and it's not even about the fucking gyms. So you will need to counter them. They're all gonna have Dynamax Pokemon. This is so fucking dumb. Um. Battles between so Pokemon are what I'm thinking right now is they said like 
there's these places called wild areas. Are they all just gonna be but fucking open space areas? Like, because if the they are, that kinda tomorrow. sucks. I kinda want like an actual like place to like a inter like an interesting like dungeon to explore a little bit. Kinda like how uh shit. <laughs> kinda like how you had like the Bell Sprout Tower and shit like that, right? Where it's like that place was designed a certain way. Like I have I hope there's still places like that. What? What do you want to show me? What what video? What video? What video are we looking at? Not actual gameplay footage. No fucking duh. Oh, the legendary Pokemon. Okay. Do they look like... Yep. Okay, I was about to say. Do they look like a shield and a sword? Is there a gun Pokemon that looks like a gun? That's cool! Wait, are these Pokemon like twins or some shit? What the fuck? Are they guardians? Are they twins? Where's the gun? There's gonna be a gun Pokemon that shows up. I like the sword one. So obviously, those legendary the Pokemons, Pokemons aren't the big bads. Just now are in like every other Pokemon, Pokemon game. Of the Gala region, Apparently. And Okay, guys, you got the new Pokemon. Here's a uh, flower fuck. Here's Wolla Wolves, and here's Zacian and Zamazenta. Like really, guys? Enjoyed today's Pokemon Direct. Of course. Like really, guys? Is just a small part of what Do you hear you yourself? Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. There are many more Pokemon and. Well, you might as well just name them Sword Boy and Shield Fuck. We're putting everything we've got here at Game Freak into making Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield a game that apparently not everything because there's like a bunch of shit missing, but okay. <laughs> like I know I'm being critical and shit, but like I'm still excited for the game. I'll buy it. There's no way I won't buy it. There's no way you won't buy it. It's a fu it's it's a console Pokemon game. Fuck off. Pokemon Sword release date. Oh. So y'all motherfuckers gonna compete with Death Stranding? That's crazy. That's crazy talk. And starting today, you can pre-order a special double pack. Oh, how much is that? Information. I never mind. You will look forward to your new Pokemon adventure in the gallery. Thank you for watching. Uh, the double pack is probably gonna run for like eighty bucks or something like that. All right, well, cool. That was fun. Uh, honestly, I think I had, I think I said everything that I needed to say. Really, is like those box art. The box art for this looks fucking lame. <laughs> it does. It's not even the Pokemon that looks lame on the box art. It's just like the background and shit for the box art. They look fucking lame. Um, but yeah, I really think I said everything that I that I wanted to say for this. Of course, a lot of people are probably going to buy a sword because because the Pokemon just looks cooler, right? You know, you're going to get the cooler looking Pokemon. And then you're going to have that group of people who are like, I want to be different, right? So, yeah. Huh. So that was interesting. Those uh, giant Pokemon are really fucking stupid. <laughs> I don't know why they thought that was a good idea. And I don't know how that will affect online battles, right? Because if that's an online battle, then the whole scene is going to get fucked up. Like, Mega Evolution didn't even fuck up the scene that much. But, uh, honestly, I don't give a fuck about online battles on Pokemon. I don't care. I'm not going to sit there and breed Pokemon for fucking, like, 25 hours there's no like actual ranking system in this shit so what's the point of doing it unless you like go to tournaments or some shit you know um but uh yeah that's a pokemon sword and shield i am excited but at the same time i really hope they just don't forget shit because it's gonna be so annoying like i'm so tired of like when every game that comes out 
It's just like, okay, time to use this method that I used in the other game to evolve my Pokemon. Wait, it don't exist no more? So how am I supposed to get that Pokemon? Well, use Pokemon Bank. Fuck you, I don't want to use Pokemon Bank. I don't want to pay fucking $5 a month to keep my Pokemon. That's pretty fucking dumb. Like, do these games even, are these games even compatible with Pokemon Bank anymore, to be honest? Because I haven't heard shit about Pokemon Bank in a long time. So, uh, I don't know, I don't know how that goes. But, it's whatever, man. It's Pokemon, Pokemon is Pokemon. Pokemon is Pokemon, Pokemon is Pokemon. Pokemon is Pagetto Monsters, and Pagetto Monster is, uh, Pokemon. So, yeah. That's pretty much all I have to say about this shit. It was a pretty long direct for Pokemon, because usually Pokemon directs are like fucking five minutes long. So, it's nice that they try to get some actual news out there. And E3 is around the corner, and uh, my life is going to be fucked. So, uh, until then, until you guys see me cry in a corner, um, I will see you guys in the next video. Oh